you guys were Jedi's in real life, what color would each of your lightsabers be? <gasps> I'll go rainbow colored. Yeah, that's the best answer. That was the best answer. Better. Uh, if you were a Jedi, what color would your lightsaber be? Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with rainbow. One quick question, and the movie comes out tomorrow, so it's gonna, we're all gonna know anyway. You might as well tell us now. Any romance between uh, these characters that we will see? And if you lie to me, I'll be mad. Mm. I think it's a very subtle romance mm. that's happening. You know, you have to just look very close. You have to watch it a few times to see the little hints, but there was. So At least it, I was playing romance. I, I was playing. <laughs> I have to ask you, people love your character in Star Wars and the relationship that may or may not exist with other characters in the movie. How aware are you of that, of what people are saying online and talking? Poe has a lot of love to give. That's a staple answer that you're very good at giving. Um, it's the truth. I'm gonna go with Finn. Poe oh, Dameron. You know, it'd be weird to... to have I hook up with myself. I mean, I am playing myself because I only have myself to play with. Oscar, in the wake of Force Awakens, I don't know if, if you've caught on to this, but there's this this whole fan movement called Storm Pilot, mm -hmm. which is a Finn Poe Finn fantasy Pro coupling. Yeah. How do you feel about this? Do you do you endorse this? I think it's pretty. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, they make they make nice babies. Great. Look, it was a little difficult to see my man kiss somebody else. You gotta give up control, like Mark said, you know, and you gotta watch some stuff that you don't want to watch sometimes, but hey, you know. Big leg. You got big leg too, then. I don't know. See your leg. <laughs> yes, you have. Yeah. Do you think Finn would take you on a date? Um, Olive Garden, maybe? Yeah, I was gonna say Chili's. Or, or the macaroni grill, if it was feeling a little bit. Fancy. It's gonna be gender politics. Yeah. Well, I was here on the Acropolis Hill that some people believe Theseus's father, King Aegis, had a sex change. <laughs> it would make nice babies uh, if it were biological. Possible. It could be well, in this galaxy oh, it, far, far away. Oh, you don't know, yeah. these guys are freaking aliens. That, I mean, you've seen BB-8. He's real it's, to me already. It's very hard not to bond with that <laughs> little guy. I mean, he's it's amazing. It's an amazing design. Too, yeah. You know? So it's uh, and the, the puppeteers and everybody that worked to to, to make him come to life or make it come to life, you know, let's not give it a gender. Uh, well, Donald and I played a transgender, transgender couple, <laughs> uh, the first transgender, trans transgender couple in the universe, space. in the space. What is gender? <laughs> you know, let's talk about that. In other news, Oscar Isaac is still inexplicably extremely hot to me, a giant lesbian. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we don't know, we don't know how that all works down there. Worldwide domination, man, congrats. <laughs> I appreciate it very much. Uh, you know, gender is a very, uh, it's, a, it's a fluid thing. Sure, well, erotic and awkward is my forte. <laughs> and uh, uh, as an actor, and as, for me, I'm very open to those, those possible storylines, and I don't think it needs to be nailed down in any kind of traditional way. That he lives in that place. That's right. where I live yeah. as an artist. Yeah. And a human, really. Yeah. <laughs>